had just sent two of our missionaries, Father Piotr and Father Antony, to Norway. We were invited to work with migrants, basically to work with migrants with Polish background. That is why we entrusted this mission in a particular way to our Polish province. Both confreres, although they do not both come from Poland, speak Polish. A confreres who was trained initially in India, but who did his theology later in Poland, learned the Polish language well, so he volunteered to go to Norway as well as for the Piotr, who has been working for many years in Africa, more than 18 years, particularly in countries like Zambia and also in South Africa. So we have sent some very qualified and experienced missionaries who are used to intercultural living and international work. And that is why the Diocese of Oslo is very unique for us, because from the very beginning what attracted us is the internationality and the interculturality, having people from so many different nations that are living and working in Norway and then particularly in Oslo. So my purpose in coming here is to find out whether our two SVDs, Divine Word Missionaries, my two confreres, feel at home, whether they have enough to eat, whether they're healthy, and whether they can cope with the horrendous weather conditions, which is a big challenge, I was told, since they arrived on August 29, 2017. They have not seen the sun anymore, so we have to remind them that there is a sun. So that's a big challenge, I believe. In Norway as a whole, there are so many, many migrants from many different nationalities and nations that we can offer much more than that. Eh? But for that we would have to sit down again with the bishop and see what else we can offer. But the initial task is to work with Polish migrants. Yeah. The Society of the Divine Word is a German order that was founded in the Netherlands in a place called Steil in the year 1875. It started very small, but today the order has grown considerably. We are the biggest missionary congregation of the Catholic Church with about 6,000 members working in, at this point in time, 84 countries around the world. Now, the 84th country, the 84th edition is Norway. The past years we have expanded to eight other countries, among them are countries like Bangladesh, like Myanmar, like Uganda, South Sudan, Liberia, countries where people are suffering, former war zones, people are suffering from calamities, but also mainly people uh, where people have fled, people have become refugees. The work with migrants is one of our expertise because we have members that do hail from close to 100 different countries. So intercultural living and international living is part of our day-to-day -day life and that is why dioceses like Norway, Oslo are for us very attractive because that's where we can contribute. Our people know languages, they are trained and educated in international and intercultural context. That is what we are all about as SVDs. We do any work that you can imagine worldwide, from doing pastoral work in parishes, uh, working with migrants, hospital chaplaincy, we are working for the military, we are working in prisons, we are working in special rehabilitation programs, fighting human trafficking, fighting organ trafficking, narco trafficking. We have big universities where we educate many, many young people around the world. It's a huge organization that has grown over the years, but it's not only Divine Word Missionaries. One of our characteristics is that we, we are called Divine Word Missionaries. We teach people to read and to fall in love with the Bible, the Word of God, as an inspiring way of finding meaning in life. Then we are heavily involved in communicating. We try to reach out to everybody in need in different places around the world. And then we are heavily involved also in fighting for justice and peace and the integrity of creation. That's a special characteristic. And another characteristic is that we do our work not alone. We animate others to work with us. 
But I think that's very important in a place like Norway. So worldwide at this point in time, that's 6,000 SVDs, but that's surely more than 1 million lay people, women and men and young people and old people who have joined, especially that kind of mission, to serve people who are in need. I believe the future of the world will depend on the education of people. And that is where, at this point in time, we as SVDs, as the Weinberg missionaries, are needed to educate people on all levels. Many people living in slums and in misery and poverty do so because of lack of education. That's a very special challenge at this point in time for us. What we believe is to take care of migrants as a special apostolate and ministry is equally important because many people, as we know, had to flee their home countries for various reasons, due to ongoing wars and ethnic conflicts, as well as due to very heavy and difficult economic situations. That's why we have refugees and migrants all over the world. So that's why Norway is an option for us, because we know that people living far away from their home countries are in need of pastoral care. That's why we are here. At this point in time, we have expanded our missions, particularly to countries where there are refugees. So Liberia, we just took over a parish with more than 30,000 refugees from the Ivory Coast. South Sudan, we just started about six months ago because of a new war that broke, uh, yeah, that started again in South Sudan. All our parishes were closed and the parishioners have fled across the border. They are sitting in Uganda. About a year ago, we had 100,000 refugees in our camps in Uganda, but now we have more than 1.4 million refugees. So that is a very special challenge. As we know, there's more than 56 million refugees worldwide, and that's where we want to contribute to take care of people of different faith traditions, and particularly among the faith traditions, our own faith tradition, our own religion, our Catholic brothers and sisters. An important message for us would be to keep up hope in all the difficulties that we are facing as human beings. The world has many, many challenges, particularly in line with leadership. As we know, some traditions at this point in time try to fight things out. They go for a violent way of changing things for the better. And we believe that this is not an option. So we are promoting at this point in time peace. Peace, however, that has to be based on justice. The message for our Catholics is always everywhere, also in Norway, to look beyond our own fence, not to only look at ourselves and our own lives, particularly for those that have more than they need to share with those who are suffering, and that is worldwide as well as in front of their own doors. So only together we as human beings can survive. Solidarity is our key message for anybody, including people in Norway, to practice and to live in solidarity.